what is going on guys welcome to today's video we are doing product research i'm going to show you what my process is when i'm doing product research it's the it's probably the most time consuming thing you're gonna do when you're an amazon seller but it's definitely very rewarding if you follow these steps and um you can always find great products and i'm gonna show you how i do it i'm here on amazon and let's go ahead and get started not no fluff just straight to the point let's go ahead and type a category just a random category let's do beauty let's do beauty category if i can even spell beauty right let's do b u t and <laughs> beauty and the beast that's so funny uh, let's just let's just put random beauty okay let's just see what amazon can show us here now one one thing that guys i always look out for is if amazon is on the listing i'm not even gonna touch it if the brand is selling on the listing i'm not gonna touch it because most of the time the brands they don't want anybody else selling their product okay so first thing i look at, i look for is how many sellers i always try to do products that have three uh three to ten sellers and i'm already seeing this a product here as it has four fba sellers so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this product and i like the price is 44 dollars, so this should be a pretty high profit product uh i see here you know after amazon takes all their fees you're left with 29.50 by the way the reason i'm able to see this little calculator it's called rev seller i'm going to link all the tools that i use down below on uh the description so rev seller and i use keep as well rev seller is a calculator that tells me uh, how much uh, how many how much fees Amazon is going to take as you guys can see it outlines everything here You just have to put your buy cost from your supplier. So if my buy cost from this supplier was like $24 It'll tell me what exact uh, You know ROI I'm going to take to the bank. Okay, so that's rev seller and then here I have this little chart It's called a keep a chart. This is pretty much a price volatility uh, chart indicator that tells me hey this price has been up or down you know throughout the year three months one month even even goes one week and one day which is pretty insane so you can see here just in the last day this product was 41 it dropped a little bit of 40 and to 31 uh, 39 dollars and i can go all the way to the lifetime of the product okay so highly highly recommend that you use keepa and that you use rev seller okay so if i was to do this product so far everything is looking good i don't see amazon anywhere on this keepa chart the listing looks good the title is amazing uh the pictures look pretty good and there's even a video video uh you know products that have a video convert very well and i see here about this product They've definitely put some good bullet points. So everything looks good here. There's four FBA sellers. Now I have to make sure that the brand itself is not selling this. Um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing when there's four FBA sellers here. So if the brand was selling it, like if I found out the brand was selling it, there's a reason they're allowing other sellers to sell it. And I want to know why. So it looks like this product is uh the brand is called uh first aid beauty okay so i'm gonna try to find them here first aid beauty they're definitely on the listing best of mojos trembling truck and i see there's another seller here now guys i did mention to you guys i stay away from products that the brand is selling now this particular product the brand is on the listing but there's also three other sellers actually one two yeah three there's three other sellers that are on here and i see that one of them the price is higher than the other two so i'm pretty sure this brand is okay with other amazon sellers selling it or they could have an exclusive deal with the brand so my next step would be to contact first aid beauty and say hey listen i see that your product is really doing well on amazon and that you have other sellers that are selling it i would like to get information on how i can become a seller of this product as well 
Now, let's go ahead and pull up Jungle Scout and see the numbers. And Jungle Scout is a tool that I use to find the monthly sales, the average price, and the monthly revenue. And I see 23,000 is pretty nice uh, revenue, you know, divided by how many sellers is four. So you'd be the fifth one. So here I see the average sales rank is 16,000, which is not bad. I try to sell any product under 50,000 sales rank. And uh, I like 500 units uh, and up sold every month. So this is definitely a product to look into. Just make sure you first, if you're going to do this product, you contact the first aid beauty first before selling it. Okay. So let's go ahead and see other products that we can sell under the beauty category. Let's keep scrolling here, guys. You guys can hear sold by Amazon. Stay away. Three FBA sellers on this one. I don't like the price is $8.99. But this is actually, it could be a lightweight product. Let's see. Because any product that's under $15, it's hard to make money on because after Amazon takes all their fees, you just don't get much after. So Beaky is, wow, look at the sales rank, 101. So this product must have very high volume. Beaky is the uh, the brand. Let's see if they're on the listing and I see them here. I see that they're letting one other seller sell the product. And yeah, it looks like they're giving only one seller um, permission to sell this product. Let's pull up Jungle Scout. And once again, guys, I'm going to link Jungle Scout down below. Uh, you get 30% off and uh, to use their software. So Jungle Scout is, it will tell you the monthly revenue of a product. And I can see here is 261,000 in revenue. That's pretty huge. And 29,000 units are sold every single month of this product. These guys are definitely making a lot of money. I would contact this, um, this brand Beaky and see if they can authorize you to sell their product. Uh, because I do see that they're allowing one other seller. It could be an exclusive deal with that other seller. So that is definitely somebody you want to uh, contact and see if you can hop in on that 261,000 um, revenue. Okay, let's go to the next one, guys. I see here four FBA sellers. And you guys can see how easy this is. I mean, you're just going one product after another. By the way, I remember this <laughs> First Aid Beauty. Uh, we, we had just seen one of their products. Let's go ahead and click on this and see if it's the same seller. So first aid, I see crawl group, keep me forever. And who's this other person here? Morning beauty. I think this guy, I definitely don't recognize from the other product that we were looking at and keep me forever. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'll check back on that. But it looks like first aid beauty is definitely allowing other FBA sellers to uh, sell their products. Let's go into the FBA uh, into the keep a chart here and to see if Amazon has been on the listing and the volatility of this product. I see here there's definitely some major fluctuations in price. I see Amazon was here. Me, I wouldn't do this product seeing that Amazon has been in and out in and out of this product. And I'm also not too excited about how volatile the price has been only from March to August, this uh, product was very consistent. And then it seems to be fluctuating a lot. Now, if we pull up Jungle Scout, let's see what we got here. Definitely like the monthly revenue, 89,000 is pretty decent. It's actually very good. 24,000 units, 2,400 units sold every month is definitely uh, a plus as well. So is this a good product? is decent. I wouldn't order too many units and I'd for sure contact First Aid Beauty Store before I sell this product. Hopefully they can give it to me for at least 30% ROI. Uh, to get 30% ROI would be pretty amazing. Uh, let's see here, 22. This is the buy cost. This is what is called a, a rev seller. It's pretty much um, a calculator uh, that tells you how much uh, you should net. Okay. So 
yeah, it looks here I can net about 20% if I got this product at 2250. And these are just hypothetical numbers, guys. I'm just uh just putting random numbers here to show you how that works, okay? So yeah, this is a decent product. I would definitely consider contacting first a beauty. Let's see if we can find one more, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can get. Okay, so I still see sold by Amazon. Whoa, 11 FBA sellers. I don't like that sales rank. 56,000 sales rank is actually not that decent. I try to do any product under 50,000 sales rank. Once again, same guys here. Let's see if there's different FBA sellers on this one from what we saw before. This is First Aid Beauty. Morning Beauty. And let's see if the other two sellers are going to be different. Yeah, see? I don't recognize a seller from the other listings. So it looks like they definitely allow third-party sellers to sell their products. So guys, definitely make sure you want to contact First Aid, First Aid Beauty and see if you can, uh, you know, they can authorize you to sell some of their products. I wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more product. I don't want to keep you guys too long on here. And definitely while this is pulling up, make sure you download Jungle Scout. That is what it's telling me. The revenue, the monthly units sold uh, is 30% off of the link down below. And uh, you guys can definitely take advantage of that. Uh, let's see if we can pop something up here. I see two products here, seven FBA sellers. This one has nine uh, FBA sellers. Let's try to open this one up. Dormo Korea. Wow, I'm surprised. So it looks like, you know, after Amazon takes all their fees, you're still left with around $5. So if this is a lightweight product, uh, hopefully you can get this product for like three, $3.50 at the very least. You know, you can walk away with $1.64. This is my calculator that I'm using, RevSeller. Let's pull up Jungle Scout and see how many units are sold every month. Guys, look at the monthly revenue, $115,000 a month. $115,000 a month shared by nine FBA sellers. Let's do the numbers here, guys. Let's do... Uh, how do we zero this out? Okay, so if you do 115,739 divided by, there's nine sellers, so you'd be the 10th seller. You're looking, oh my God, you're looking about $11,000 a month from, you know, in revenue from this product. Okay, so, and I see here, there's 96, 5, 3, uh, this how many units are sold every month divided by 10 sellers. You're looking to sell 965 units every single month. So if you guys can contact here before we even try to contact the supplier, let's check the Keepa chart. Let's make sure that we are clear from Amazon. Okay, so here is telling me this product used to be a 999. It looks like this is the lowest this product has been. Amazon has been on the listing a little bit. Um, I'd be very cautious to get on this product, but it looks like the last almost six months, because we're, we're in October right now. Actually, the last, yeah, the last five months, Amazon has been kind of off. So I would still be cautious. I wouldn't order too many units of this product if I were you. Um, it looks like the price is kind of stabilized. It's $11.99 average. Uh, let's pull up here on Jungle Scout, see the average price. Yeah, $11.99. Um, so this product, this product could be a winner. You just have to make sure you go ahead and contact uh, Dormo, Dormo Store. And let's see if they're actually on the listing as well. Let's see if they're on the listing. I see Kayla's Home Goods there. I see K-Beauty. K's Home. I see Webby Store there. Or well be red tab these are the sellers here something else Do huh. 
That is very interesting. Uh, Dermo underscore official. They're on the listing, but they're obviously letting other sellers. I wonder if this is actually them though, or this is just a random seller that put. No, this definitely looks like it's them. Yeah, Korea. Yeah, so that's actually them. But guys, you can see they're letting this other sellers that are selling this product. And the funny thing is they're undercutting the actual uh, brand itself. They're undercutting their price, which is really not cool. If I was if I was you or if I were to do this product, I would actually contact them and say, hey, listen, I was wondering if you can give me exclusive rights to be the only seller to sell this product because I see other people are undercutting your product, okay? They're undercutting your price. So brands really like that. It's like, wow, this guy's looking out for my, you know, for my product. He's definitely like policing everything that's happening on Amazon and maybe he can be my Amazon police and uh, I can give him an exclusive deal, kick out everybody else who's selling it and just have him sell my product. So that is definitely an approach I would take on this particular product. So, uh, and hopefully they can give you a good deal on your buy costs so you can make at least a 47% ROI on this particular product. So guys, I'm going to leave that video at that because I don't want to keep going too long here. I'm going to be doing another product research video again next week. But that's pretty much how to do product research step by step. Just make sure you have the right tools. Rev seller, you make sure that you have your Keepa chart. And of course, make sure you download Jungle Scout. It's a Chrome extension. You guys can see it. Uh, I have it here and you just click on it. And Jungle Scout will tell you how many units are sold every month, the monthly revenue, and uh, it's definitely something you want to you definitely want to have. There's Viral Launch. There's other softwares that you can use. Viral Launch. You have uh, Helium Ten, but me specifically, I use Jungle Scout. So anyway, guys, make sure you comment down below on any questions you have, and I'll definitely make sure I answer them. And uh, see you guys next week.